morning, good morning, everybody. Or almost afternoon. Can you guys hear me okay? I'm a little quiet. A little louder? Maybe I should have put on the microphone. Okay, we're gonna roll with it. So my name's Savannah, and this is Athena. Um, and we have started doing some yoga out here at the park. So we just wanted to give a little bit of demo of some of the stuff that we would do in our classes. Um, and if you're not a Palm Bay resident, Athena also has some classes in Melbourne that you can check out. We've got lots of information at the table. But um, basically we teach a gentle yoga, stretching practice, a um, little bit of meditation in there, and some breath work. So really more relaxing type of yoga, not necessarily something you're gonna see in the gym or the fitness studio. So I'm gonna do a little demo. Did you have a question? What, what do you recommend for people that have very stiff joints? So, stiff joints yoga is great for. Always using caution, so whenever we're doing anything like lots of standing, we're gonna make sure we don't lock our knees, don't lock our elbows, but also the use of props as well. So this is just a regular old yoga mat. You can take and put a blanket under the knees for anything there. You could stand on a blanket for extra support for your ankle joints. Um, you can use blocks or chairs if we aren't able to reach the ground all the way. So any kind of modification. So um, especially maybe seeking an instructor or if you wanna come join us on Monday nights at six, we can help you modify it to you. But yoga in general is gonna be really good for those stiff joints because what do they tell you to do at the doctor besides eating well and drinking lots of water? Move your body. So even though we might be a little stiff and a little cranky, we still gotta move or else that joint pain is gonna continue. So I'll just show you some easy stuff that you can do today and we'll work on a couple of balancing poses just so you can see that they're not as scary as uh, some make it out to be and also that you don't have to do it exactly like the yoga teacher does it because I'm still learning and I'm still practicing and everybody has a different body so my forward bends, um, Look, are going to look different than somebody else's. I don't take a very strong back bend because it could hurt my lower back, uh, whereas Athena can take a huge back bend and get all the way into plow with no assistance. So everybody's going to be a little different. So I want us to get started this morning by breathing because that's the number one piece of yoga is the breath. So turning inward, placing one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. If you want to take a deep breath in with me, and feeling the belly expand. And as we exhale, we're gonna let that out. <sighs> Two more times, breathing in. Feel the belly expand, expanding the chest. Exhale, <sighs> center. Breathing in, we're gonna breathe in. Bend the knees, bring the hands up high and overhead. Exhale, we're gonna forward fold. So mindful of the body wherever you can breathing in, getting long and tall in the crown. And this could be your tree. You could place the hands anywhere. You could still place them on a chair. You could place them on the hips. You could place them hands at heart center. This is called prayer mudra, mudra or anjali mudra. Or you could have them up high overhead if we want to challenge our balance a little bit more. Getting a nice big bend, getting long and tall, shining the heart forward, bringing a smile to the face. This is where we're gonna get permission to round. So we're gonna drop the head, round the spine just a little bit till you start to feel the stretch in between those shoulder blades. Of the feet together, letting the legs go as they please. You can always, if this is really tight in the hips and groin, we can place blocks alongside to help relax into the pose. We can bring the heels closer to the groin for a deeper stretch. We can take the toes further from the face for less of a stretch. So wherever you are breathing in, getting long and tall, this is gonna stretch those hip adductors that we just used for tree. Breathing in and breathing out. And if you wanna deepen, you can inhale and hinge at the hips, kinda like we did in the forward fold, if that's your jam. If not, you can stay upright, whatever feels good taking what your body needs. Crisscross applesauce, which is also called Sukhasana in Sanskrit. <sighs> Releasing the shoulders down away from the ears. Thank you guys so much for practicing with me and watching this demo. I really enjoyed it. 
If you guys want more tips, come and see me afterwards. I got a whole arsenal and so does Miss Athena. Thank you guys. Bringing hands to heart center, breathing in. Exhaling, bowing head to heart. Namaste.